We both agreed that it was probably a student who was really eager, but yeah. was just scared to yeah. answer the wrong way. Yeah. And she didn't want to embarrass herself in front of the classroom, so she would rather say nothing yeah. instead of maybe saying the wrong thing. And I think she was very insecure too, and maybe she had more thoughts, and yeah. she didn't know what's the r right thing yeah. to say. This, so she's clearly expressing, thank you, that was beautiful, you guys, uh, some kind of hesitancy, right? Right, this student who's hesitate, hesitant to raise their hand, it's much more important that she raise her hand than the, than the Maria's of the world who are like, they're always sure that they know. Like, this is the student we want to invite into the conversation. Thank you. Is it better? I was going to come over here because I was just asking for other potential interpretations of uh, the student's behavior. Yes, we also saw the hesitancy, but we saw a little bit of a positive side in her. Yeah. So she decided to be a part of it because her teacher was expecting that. Uh, and then maybe she's like, well, my answer isn't quite good enough. Maybe it's I, I can think more deeply about this before I answer. But there's, either, either way, it's a really good thing that's happening to the student during the wait time. I think the student had a book in front of her yeah. and she might have checked in the text for proof of what she was going to say and then she raised her hand to quote the source. One of the benefits of studying video is you get really good at observing the things that students are doing. So, um, uh, glory points for that answer, Christine. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what's the question? <laughs> the way to win the race is to get my hand up before the teacher even asks the question. What I wanted to say about what you were talking about 10 minutes ago was, right, this is probably not going to be the best answer in the world, given that Maggie hasn't asked the question yet. And so we're talking about what usually happens, how does it affect students. It's a really powerful idea, which is, on average, a teacher waits less than one second before taking an answer. Even those students who win, even Maria loses because she's learning to give the fastest answer and not the best answer. Thanks, Doug.